Well, hello there. Well, today is time for part two of the Toshiba Satellite 4000 CDS video series, which is the software. Now, I am running on battery power, as you can see. We have unplugged, and the charger isn't even in the room. It's in the other, in the other corner of the house. So, let's turn it on. Now, what I'm running here, I'm running Debian 7.9, as you can see the kernel is a little bit outdated, but I'll, I'll explain that. I'm running Debian 7.9, which is uh, Wheezy, I think, Debian Wheezy. Um, I'm not running Debian 8.0 or 8.x because one systemd I don't like systemd at all though I use it on my main computer which is my desktop my dual Xeon desktop but that's because I use Arc Linux on that one uh, I don't like systemd second uh, it just plain doesn't plain work on this laptop graphically uh, it doesn't work graphically because it has a new version of XORG that we that drops support for the drivers for the chips and technologies graphics card that this thing uses uh, it drops support and you can try the drivers aren't even avail available on the repositories for Debian 8.0 so there's no graphics drivers for this laptop luckily Debian 7 is in on LTS state which means that it'll get support for about another six months and it'll still get security updates and all that and thanks to the backport uh, project I can have updated uh, packages whenever I need them so let's log in here Guybrush is my user my Unix user on all of the Unix computers that I use and Unix like of course this is not Unix this is GNU let's type in my password there we go that's the standard MOTD. I haven't changed it. I liked it. I like it. So let's start. Whoops. Start a graphical session. As you can notice, the laptop is still is a little bit slow because it has uh, an ATA thirty three bus. And that's not a very fast bus for the hard drive, so it is a little bit slow, but yeah. As you can see, my battery is full right now. I haven't plugged it in since yesterday when I made the first part of, of this video series. And we are running at 91% battery power, 1 hour 26 minutes. Calculate it from there. Now, what's, what software am I using for main tasks? Now, uh, for text editing, let's open up a terminal because most of, most of the things I do, I do from the terminal. Um, as a terminal, mainly, I use your URXVT or RXVT Unicode. As you can see, it supports pseudo transparency. Oh, the window manager, right. Window manager is Fluxbox. I'm using Fluxbox. And uh, as you can see, Fluxbox. The theme is Bitey, whoopsie, Bitey Fluxbox. I don't think it is combined. Nope, it isn't combined with another one. And yeah, I have 
pretty much disable transparency and all of that and I don't have opaque window moving I just have the little outline right there uh, so let's take a look at idling like this without any programs open let's look at let's look at our memory usage right now we're using 73 72 well 73 72 megabytes of ram this thing has 160 megabytes of ram and it is maxed out right now we're using 73 so we're very limited by the ram we're more limited by the RAM than we are by the processor, which is a 300 MHz Pentium 2, or the hard drive, which has 40 GB of space in there. We're limited mainly by the RAM. So, for text editing, I just used Nano. That's it. I use Nano. <laughs> That's all there is to it just a simple text editor it literally it is just a text editor no complex uh, graphics no nothing just nano it is just a text editor I don't do uh, I don't have to do any office work or anything like that on this laptop so I don't really have to do any work really because uh, it was a neat I've been a neat for like three years up until a few months ago when I started uh, studying again and even then all the work that I need to do is by hand it, I am required to do it by hand so <laughs> yeah no room for office software in here so uh, music how do I play music? Well, I use MPD, the music player daemon, and as a front end, I use NCMPCPP, which is a fork. Well, I mean, it's not really a fork, it's NCMPC written in C, and it works really, really well. Um, it works really, really well. Uh, the, man, the library system is a, amazing right here let's play something I think Kubi uh, releases his music uh, in in creative with a creative commons license so let's try and play something I don't know whatever why the heck well whatever uh, let's just play that As you can see it plays just fine. This is FLAC by the way It is a FLAC file and it isn't using I, I can tell you it isn't even using a 5% of the CPU power of this laptop as you can see, the music visual visualizer or, or uh, visualizer. I have a hard time pronouncing that. Works just fine. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. It does use about 20% CPU power, but it does work. Uh, what? Let's see. F10 is the clock, which well, whatever clock um, yeah let's clear the playlist and stop this now uh, file managing file management I use PC man FM focus come on oh gosh darn it As you can see, of course, there's this is no pre-built distro. I never use pre-built distros. 
I don't use those lightweight, uh, so-called lightweight distros like uh, Puppy Linux or Slitas or uh, Slacks or any any of that. I use uh, Debian, full-on Debian, uh, because it is a fully featured distro. And I'm just using a 486 kernel instead of a 686 kernel, which is a lighter kernel. And I just install whatever I need, and it just works. So as you can see, I have some images here, because this is the only uh, computer that I have with a uh, with modern modern uh, software and a floppy drive. So I use this to write uh, floppy disk images, and well, as you can see, well, it's it's just a a plain basic file manager. As you can see, here are my music uh, files, my music folders. Um, the fan just kicked in. The fan just kicked in right there. Um, what else? Oh, web browsing. For web browsing, I use. Uh, it depends on what I want to browse, but generally, generally I use. Um, let's see, applications, network, web browsing, links. Oops, these things were really, really sensitive, and I like it that way. I use links too with X support I mostly use it I use this browser for because it is very lightweight and it doesn't have JavaScript or any plugins at all and I don't know let's let's go to DuckDuckGo The wireless uh, down here isn't really that great, but oh, also I'm using a wireless card right here, so this thing's connected wirelessly. This thing's full, wa fully wireless. Uh, I'm wirelessly connected to my access point right there. The the meter for the, the level meter on this card doesn't work. Uh, the drivers are not uh, really the best on this card but yeah there we go I am connected <laughs> wirelessly to my G access point and as you can see very minimal let's look for I don't know Pentium 2 Pentium 2 So click info, Pentium 2, Pentium 2, Wikipedia, the Free Encyclopedia. As you can see, things load, web pages look a little bit, uh, they do look a little, a little bit weird. They're not rendered properly, but they're far away from unreadable. And if you just want to read something, you can just, well, read it. Really, the only thing I I miss on this thing is a, a scroll bar. You have to click the little scroll thingy on the on on the browser itself. But yeah, as you can see, it works pretty well, and you can just read about anything. Now let's go to YouTube, shall we? Let's go to my channel. I mean, it's a little bit slow, considering it, it would be faster if I was closer to the... Uh, well, as you can see, YouTube isn't 
rendered quite right right here but uh, you can go to videos right here and you have a list of my videos <laughs> and well how do you play them on this thing which doesn't even have uh, SSE so it we only have the only extension to the 686 architecture that we have on this laptop is MMX that's the only extension we have we have MMX and that's it no SSE and my phone ran out of uh, space that clip right there those 15 minutes were 1.12 gigabytes wow um, so I was saying the playback uh, the media playback capabilities of this laptop are very very limited so we have to watch uh, the 240p version of YouTube videos but we cannot watch it, watch them with the built-in player into the web page so what do we do we get our link right here and we use a little script called YouTube DL which I have already run which what it does is, as you can see, there's the line with the script YouTube DL minus F, and that is the format 36, which is, as you can see, 36 3 GP, it is 320 by 240, and that is the resolution of the video. And we paste the URL right there. What that will do is download the video, as you can see, it has downloaded it and it has downloaded the YouTube video in a 3GP file. Now we can just use mPlayer and let's... I don't have any other 3GP videos here so I, th I don't think let's see we have... Uh, nope oh, we only have one 3GP video so Let's play the video. With M player. Today I'm gonna make a video about my main laptop, which is this Toshiba Satellite 4000 CDS. Well, as you can see, 240p videos are played back flawlessly but there's as you can see there is a little bit of a problem the ghosting this display is a passive matrix LCD and it has a ton of ghosting so yeah pretty much <laughs> videos are watchable uh, to a certain point I mean if you're in a pinch and you need to watch a YouTube video certainly you can by and using this laptop but uh, I would rather use a mobile phone to watch a YouTube video now this is also what I use for watching normal videos and player but yeah, I mean really this, th this thing can't really play back video uh, properly uh, let's advance a little bit here there's a little bit of motion as you can see lots of motion blur right there Yeah, lots of motion blur But it just play videos and they 1024 by 768 at 16-bit color They do sound fine So yeah, there are, there are the 
details of the video. So yeah, that's about all there is to it. Um, web browsing I've already shown you. Um, what else do I do with this laptop? Well, I play mod music with this laptop since it has a great Yamaha OPL3 uh, sound card. So I use I don't know how you pronounce it. Schism, I think. Schism uh, Tracker, which is a pretty nice tracker. And the UI is very nice. And it looks very retro, so. Mod music right there. Um, let's play something from the BB demo. Of course, this this laptop has more than enough uh, horsepower to play <laughs> mod files. Even an old Amiga can do that, so this thing's well. Well, it's actually uh, a little bit less powerful than the most powerful Amiga uh, 1200s that are out there. But uh, yeah, uh, as you can see, that's what I use for playing mod music. Yes, I want to exit. doing this through the phone screen is very hard so yeah that's pretty much all we all I have to show you about this laptop I'm gonna show you the full specs on it so you can just uh, pause and look at all the specs let's maximize this I'm using an, a script called Inksy. Inksy, right there. It's to show you the specs of the laptop. So you can look, there is. The full specs of the laptop you can pause on that if you want and look at all of the specs and as you can see the uptime is 32 minutes we've been running for 32 minutes on this battery and where are we at as you can see we still have 58 percent and that is really 58 percent left Estimated time left is 54 minutes. So yeah, we get uh, I get about one hour and a half uh, Of battery life on this laptop with normal use This CPU uh, doesn't really have any power saving features So it's always pissing out 17 watts or so um, so it doesn't have speed step it oh it does have deep sleep though it does have deep sleep but well i when i upgrade this i will um upgrade it with a celeron i will use i mean if i can get if i can find one first first of all a 400 megahertz or higher celeron which i think has c1 states uh, I will upgrade it if I can grab a, a cheap 400 or higher Celeron chip for this I will grab it and I will buy it and I will upgrade this thing and now my phone ran out of battery I just love filming these YouTube videos with a phone it is so fucking frustrating to do that it just 
I, I, I just want a freaking camera. Now, I don't even know what I was talking about before, but the thing is, uh, as you can see, I have just done an uptime, and, well, 22 minutes have passed since I was recording this, and the thing is still, it still has, what, 40% battery left. I just closed the lead, the, the lead. I didn't even turn it off or suspend it or anything. So yeah, the battery is still strong on this thing. So I think I pretty much covered it covered it all. Um that was it. That's the that's my main laptop, the Toshiba Satellite for 4000 CDS, which I wish it was a 4000 CDT, which has a TFT display instead of the S, which means shitty uh, um, passive matrix display and well hope you liked it and you know comment like subscribe whatever and bye